Huge mistake that led officers right to him. New at 6, 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth shows us how the iCloud helped crack the case. It was here at this intersection last June when two Westport bartenders were leaving their late night shifts going to their car. Three men approached them. Cat calls quickly turned to an assault and a robbery, stealing one of their cell phones in the process. However, it was how the criminal used the cell phone that actually led to his arrest. Ryan Haynes has one word to describe what happened. Stupidity. Leaving Westport Ale House after a late shift last summer, the bartender was with a female co-worker when three men assaulted them outside their cars. Court documents 41 Action News obtained show the men were catcalling her, and she told them to shut up before the robbery occurred. Tried taking her purse, they started hitting on her a little bit, and that's when I had to jump in and... Um take on about three guys at once, which wasn't a fun situation. The victims walked away with minor injuries, but stolen from Haynes' co-worker, Cash, and her iPhone. Fast forward two months later, and after checking her iCloud account, she sees her alleged robber selfies he had taken from her stolen phone uploaded directly to her iCloud. Just amazed. I mean, that's the best way to put it. Amazed that somebody would be that dumb. After selling the phone to a 15-year-old girl and through the help of his own selfies, KCPD tracked down, arrested, and charged 21-year-old Marvante Davis with robbery, property damage, and possession of stolen property. And while police still search for the two other men involved, Haynes is surprised and relieved these selfies may have brought his friend justice. I mean, they say if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And I think that probably describes us best for him. Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News. Since that robbery assault, Alehouse has now included public safety for workers leaving the bar.